Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 8th, but we all know that the timing is fluid, right? So, you know, this is just a message that I'm picking up on that is coming in, okay? It's a message I'm picking up t today for something that's coming in. So anyhow, um, not every reading is for you, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have for a message today? I have completed the weekly readings for February 8th through the 14th. You can find them in a playlist. I've also listed it in my community section. I do have a few slots still open for private readings if you want to book one. Then they're going to be shut down for a bit after these slots get filled. That link is in the description box of every video as well as in my community section. What do we have for a message today? Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is some sort of restriction, some sort of confinement. Somebody has themselves confined to a situation, and but they have the means to escape. But it will take willpower and it will take discipline to remove somebody. Somebody needs to remove themselves from their fear. They're obviously choosing to stay in this situation. They're choosing not to say anything. And it's time. It's time to say something. Um, before I started this reading, I was sitting here and something came to my mind before I pushed start. Uh, oh, God. What the, something about get. The word get was in it. Um, get this ball rolling, but that wasn't it either. Somebody needs to break free from a situation that they are confined to, period. Okay, this is mental turmoil, trapped, need to escape, victim mentality. So somebody is choosing to be a victim of their circumstances. Okay, um, Seven of Pentacles, that is about investment. Uh, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Somebody needs to think about, is it worth it? Is it worth staying in this situation where there's restrictions? It's not comfortable. Is it worth it? <laughs> this is doing a lot of thinking, thinking whether it's worth it or not. Looks like it's a dead end. This is, there's nothing left to get from this situation. It's time to go someplace else. It could be time to relocate. But somebody's in their own mental prison and they're choosing to stay in this situation that is causing them so much confinement, restrictions, turmoil, mental turmoil. There's obviously been some deception or there's been some lies. You know, because what comes before the Eight of Swords? The Seven of Swords. So there's been lies, there's been deception, there's been betrayal, there could have been cheating, there's, there could have been thieving, stealing, um, talking behind people's backs, you know, belittling. Uh, some, there's been some sort of betrayal. But somebody has chosen to stay in the stay. It's time to remove the obstacle and break free from this situation that, you know, somebody's been in. They've been in it for a long time. We have somebody here that's thinking about it. They're thinking about relocating or they're thinking about going someplace else where the ground is more fertile because obviously there's nothing left here. This is a dead end. Okay? It is a dead end. Three of Pentacles. Now, Three of, three of Pentacles is about togetherness. It's teamwork. Um making a plan. Looks like we have somebody here that is making a plan. There could be a new contract that is being signed as well. I feel like we have somebody that is, um, has some sort of skills. They may have to start over, you know, they may have to start from the bottom and they can build themselves up, you know, something strong, but they may have to come up with a plan. I feel like somebody has to, uh, be cooperative they may have to cooperate they may even have to make some compromises somebody needs to come up with a plan and i feel like they're going to be coming up with a plan because this is like I've, you see notice he's got he's makes it feels like somebody is is making a plan or something like that or they are it feels like they're drafting up something by the looks of things you know this is somebody that is creating, creating something right now. 
They're in the process of creating something. Maybe learning some skills. Somebody may need to learn some new skills. Anyhow, Ace of Wands reversed. Now this is going south, lack of fruition, being uh, held down. Somebody is being weighed down by something. Um, lack of ambition, lack of drive. Somebody needs to find their drive. They need to, uh, it's time for a fresh start, but it will take investment to start over, to go someplace else. So be, somebody may need to start from scratch. Okay, and I feel like it's a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of work, and that's what's keeping this person confined, is because it's going to it's going to be starting from scratch. So starting from scratch sucks, but it can lead to prosperity if you can uh, face the challenges of doing so. It's going to be a challenge. It is going to be a challenge, but when things come easy, they don't last. You don't learn from them. It's it's. You know, success isn't easy. It doesn't come easy. Success comes with hard work and planning and following through and cooperating and taking risks and not letting fear in your mind hold you back. Somebody's own mind is holding them back. There is more fertile ground. There is. But somebody is in a, an infertile situation right now where there's no more growth. And they're thinking about leaving. They're thinking about re relocating. They're thinking about working together with somebody else. But their mind is playing tricks on them. It's funny how the rules reverse. This is somebody's mind playing tricks on them. Wearing a mask, not seeing the opportunities. There is an opportunity for success, okay? But it will take investing and cooperating and doing something you've probably never done before. Anyhow. Magician. The magician is a creator. This is a yes answer. The magician is a creator. This is somebody who has all the skills, has all the resources to create success. This is somebody that is willing to do whatever it takes to be successful. This is a master creator. This is somebody who has a divine connection to source. You know, this is a manifester. This is somebody who does something to get what they want and they will be recognized, okay? Um, so somebody is going to be doing something and they are going to be recognized. They are going to have success because they take action. This is a doer. This is somebody who is willing. They are willing to shed the old to bring in the new. So we do have somebody that is about to create. This is, this is creating something. Taking action to bring success. This is also as above, so below. So whatever you ask for, you can have. But it will require you to take action. Because this is an action card. This is a yes answer. You can do it. You can do whatever you want. You just have to believe that you can. There is a, a, a divine connection here with the magician card. So, so I do believe that we have somebody here that is thinking about... You know, relocating or that, yeah, maybe it's a business. I don't know. It, doesn't, it could be just themselves breaking free from a situation that they've been confined to because they've chosen to be confined to it because, you know, they just yeah, couldn't master their mind. You know, we got somebody that couldn't yeah, think clearly by the looks of things. Um, but now, but now with that three of pentacles, that is cooperating. It is cooperating. It is learning a new skill, doing something with somebody else. I feel like there's going to be some sort of collaboration with somebody that can teach somebody some new skills. Anyhow, we have somebody that is, um, has an opportunity for success. It's definitely a time of growth. But you have to take action. I mean, somebody has to take action right now. The answer is yes. Just do it. Just do it. Stop being fearful. Stop staying put in this situation. 
You're choosing to be trapped. Nobody's keeping you there. Anyhow, um, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, having it all. Somebody has an opportunity for a lot of happiness. They can have it all. But what comes before the Nine of Cups? The Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is walking away from something emotionally disappointing. Okay? You have the power. We have somebody here that has the power, has all the resources they need to be successful, to have wish fulfillment. But they need to take action, stop wasting time, stop allowing themselves to be weighed down by a situation, a circumstance that they have chosen to be victim of. Anyhow, so we have an opportunity for wish fulfillment to have it all. But it, it, it does require finding the resources, finding your strength, finding your willpower and your determination to create the life that you desire. So somebody isn't in that situation right now because they're lazy. They have no desire. They have no ambition. They have no drive. And there's no growth in that area. You know, they, they may be in an area where there's no growth. There's just, there's not enough light. There's not enough uh, people. I don't know. There's no growth. There's no growth here or there. But there's an opportunity for a lot of happiness. And this is harvest time, as you can see. This is abundance. There's an opportunity for abundance. Say by September, October. If somebody takes action right now, right now to invest in something that is more fertile, you know, if they, if they put in the work, if they break free from whatever this mentality is and they put in the effort and they're willing to do whatever it takes, by September, October, there will be abundance. There, there will be a celebration of some sort. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles reverse. That's not trying hard enough. That's somebody not working hard enough, not trying not hard enough, not wanting to work. We have somebody here that really just doesn't want to work. It's like they don't they they don't want they don't want to have to work they're lazy i was correct i was correct we got somebody here that doesn't want to work it's like they want to have it all but they don't want to work for it they don't want to work for it and you know we for whoever the person is that doesn't want to work for it they're not going to get anything they're not going to get that fresh start they're not going to get that fertility they're not going to get that growth if you want to have it all, you're going to have to take action and you're going to have to put in effort. So, yeah. oh my God. So, we're going to have to work as a team. Somebody's going to have to work as a team. They're going to have to open up and communicate and compromise and step outside of their fear. Step outside of the situation that is hurting them. It's really keeping them restricted from success. Anyhow, yeah, so I think that on this day, it's really about thinking, doing a lot of thinking and removing an obstacle. And that obstacle, it looks to me, it's fear. Fear of not being successful, fear of things not working out. That's the fucking fear. If you take action and you have the willpower to be successful, you will be successful. There's a connection to source here. There's a connection to the divine the divine will, will hears your prayer once you take action towards your dreams or whatever it is that you want. They aid. Okay? When you are not being true to yourself, that's when the struggle happens. Anyhow. There's fear of something not working out.
I just happen to look on the bottom. It will work out. This is abundance. This is great business. Could be a new business deal. Could be a new home. This is long-term stability. This is retirement. This is extremely abundant. Money, a lot of money, stability, a happy home, a happy life. So there's an opportunity for a lot of abundance. But on this day, it's about breaking free from a situation that somebody has chosen to be tied to. They have chosen to stay in that situation. And it's not, there's no growth there. There's no fertility. It's lonely. Somebody needs to break free of their own mental prison and face their fears and invest in more fertile ground right now. Good luck.